Hi, I'm Jen Mallett, CEO and founder of Level Up Your Home. We are a national smart home automation company, and I'm coming live today from our kitchen, and I'm providing an update on a mystery item in the kitchen that we weren't sure, and we wanted to ask all you what you thought it was. It's one of the items that we are upgrading here. Just a little bit of history on the house. It was uh, built in 1927, and it has uh, a little bit of interesting significance um, we learned. We didn't know this when we purchased the house. It uh, was owned by the last living survivor with a memory of the um, Titanic. So Lillian Asplund was six on the Titanic, and um, her mother and her younger brother, baby brother, survived. And this is the house that they moved into. And uh, she lost her twin brother, sadly, her father, and two older brothers on the Titanic. Um, they moved into this house, and uh, her mother lived a very long life until she was 94, I believe. And um, her brother uh, lived until he was 76, and she lived until she was 96 and uh, lived in this house. So a lot of historic significance here, and we had no idea until we purchased it, and the owners told us of the tie to the Titanic. Interesting, um, Lillian would not uh, talk about the tragedy, and, and she would get mail um, right up until her death um, asking to talk about uh, memories. So if you were to Google her, you'd find a lot of information online, and there's a really nice story here in that the next city over, Worcester, when the Asplin family came and um, they realized that a, you know, half, of her family, half of the family had perished, they did a lot of fundraising to help the family and it was one of the things they did was invest in this house. So this house uh, represented new beginnings for them and again she lived here for a very long time and as such um, there weren't a lot of updates which makes it the perfect house to take and put technology in, but what we're trying to do is really maintain a lot of the character of the house. So I'm going to introduce you to the kitchen real quick and then we're going to reveal uh, the item that you all guessed on back here. So some of the things we're going to keep, I'm going to show you here. So the walls here are very unique. Um, they are aluminum and they are a light blue and then they have tile all the way down. So you can't paint these, right? Um, it's either take, her down or, uh, take them down or keep them, and we're going to keep them, and there's nice kind of aluminum um, finishing all around. Interestingly enough, back in the 20s, 30s, and 40s, a lot of people smoked, right? It was actually healthy to smoke back then. You can find ads where it was like, oh, you should smoke. So, you know, people had smoked in this house, and those aluminum walls, we've been spending time finishing and actually taking, you wouldn't know it, but years worth of tar off and they've shined up pretty nice. The other thing uh, we want to show you is um, this right here. This is an original can opener um, wall unit and we love how it matches um, the house here and the actual um, walls. We also have original lighting. You guys remember these? Yeah. So one of the challenges the team has is how to bring smart lighting into this room with uh, older items like that. So those are a few of the things. And then as you all saw, we found, let's see, this right here up on our wall. And the question was, what is it? Uh, we knew it was some sort of, um, obviously some sort of alarm or chime notification, right? But we weren't sure if it was just a doorbell or if it was a fire, bell, fire alarm, doorbell combination. Um, we got some really great guesses from you guys. A number of people guessed doorbell. A number of people said, well, is it um, a fire alarm? Is it, we got, is it a garage door thing? Is it something for a maid's quarters? A lot of very creative guesses, both on Facebook and on Instagram. We had to um, actually go to a doorbell museum to get the actual answer. This um, item was produced and is original to the house, we found out, which is, was built in 1927. It was um, made by a company called Edwards, which is based out of Connecticut. And the house is in Massachusetts, so that makes sense. It's local. 
and um, it is in fact a doorbell chime. So for those of you who guessed doorbell chime, ding dong, you were right. Uh, congratulations, and uh, we're very excited to um, to have it, and we are going to keep it. We're going to keep it on the wall. It is going to be one of the items that we end up updating, and we will be um, installing a video doorbell um, on the front and the side doors we have here in this home, um, but we're going to be able to keep that, which is neat, because the video doorbell just rings to your phone, and also there's a little wall chime socket that just goes right, in, right into any outlet, so it doesn't require any um, wiring or use of this wiring. So we're excited to be able to keep that relic and still upgrade it um, with a video doorbell. So if you answered right, um, you can message Level Up Your Home on our Facebook page and um, let us know if you want a Level Up Your Home t-shirt. It says, let's see, hello smart home on the back. Oh, don't know if you can see that. Uh, we have it in blue or black and let us know and we'll send you one. Um, also, for those of you who guessed uh, doorbell, we are putting together a raffle for a Skybell doorbell, which is a great doorbell. There's Ring, there's Skybell, there's Doorbird, lots of good brands we carry, but we are actually going to raffle off a Skybell doorbell. So one of you will win it and we will pull that later today and announce the winner. All right, thanks for joining. Uh, we'll be giving an update on the office. I know a lot of you were um, really excited about the color like we were that we were putting into the office space here. And we're just finishing that up. It's been very hot out here and there's no air conditioning in this house. So it's taking a while for the paint to dry, but we will update you next week on what that looks like. All right, hope you guys have a great day. Bye.